snail born to dream. And if you haven't guessed, they dream big. Did not expect this to come out so soon. But look here. It is in beta in China. Just released, I believe it was last week, guys. And we're going big places with this. All new characters. New maps. Larger maps. Bigger and better boss fights. That's right. Tai Chi Panda 2. It'll be here soon. But for now, we're going to take a look at it in the Chinese version. And let's play some of the tutorial of it. First, we'll take a look at the characters and uh, see what we're actually going to have to start out with. Get loaded up here. And we're just going to start on server 1. And let's take a look. We have the panda. And instead of fists, it looks like he is... Let's get this out of the way. Instead of fists, it looks like he's going with a staff in uh, Tai Chi Panda 2. And here we have some sort of swordsman. And of course, this looks very similar to the treasure hunter from the first one. Um, it's going to be interesting to see what the class roles are actually. And I'll actually do some digging on that and get some more information on the class roles and what their abilities are uh, shortly after I get this video up, I hope. Now, we're going to obviously go back and go for the panda. I mean, come on, you can't play Tai Chi Panda without being the panda. So, of course, we're going to be the panda. And we're going to try it out. So, we shall name him Soul Bash. And let's go. And there are quite a few intros to this, so um, let's actually turn some volume up, see if we can actually not understand what they're saying, because it is in Chinese. And that looks to be some formidable type of boss. And I'm sure we'll find out shortly. All right, here we go. More cutscenes. Okay. I don't know what you're saying. I still don't understand. Okay. Let's, let's, can, can we go outside at least? Yes. Thank you. Awesome. Holy crap. I did not expect that. <laughs> okay. And more talking. Less talking, more play. This obviously does have a lot more cinematics and cutscenes to it. Um, and from the little bit that I have seen, there is a more expansive and the, the quest line and storyline is a lot more broad in uh, Tai Chi Panda 2 from what I've seen. Um, controls, the movements, and things of that sort, they just feel smoother in 2 than they have in the first one. I mean, everything flows really, really well. I've not really seen any problems as far as, you know, what I've been through the whole 20 minutes of it, but hey, we got a normal attack, and let's check out this first attack. It is some form of thrust right here. Yeah, it's some form of thrust move. Uh, looks like it may knock him up. Um, and here we go, boss fight already. And I guess she's gonna tell me how to beat him, obviously. You take this stick and you hit him on the head. You win. See? She knows well. 
and hopefully she'll let us get to it soon and here we go first boss okay uh, the UI has changed up a little bit boss's HP is not in the middle of the screen anymore it's the top right it's a four time health bar as well so health bars are stacked uh, unlike in Tai Chi Panda 1 that I can remember or ever see remember seeing but um, feels very similar um, but seems like it flows a lot smoother good and that is the end of stage one of the tutorial it looks like and we have more cutscenes and okay this thing is getting back up all right and it just got knocked right back down okay and I'm not sure who this is that looks like a very old and aged gunslinger to me with no guns and as we continue yes I did turn the volume up but I really don't think you guys want to listen to the, all of this so we're gonna skip that part there we go and that should be the end of stage one finally yes here we go three star and we got some stuff we got something blue I've seen that and a bunch of greens team level up okay so we have a team now oh okay and the quest line is actually out in the open like it is in uh, Age of Wush Age of Wushu Dynasty so you can click it and it actually just takes you to the next part of the quest that you're actually doing which is really neat uh, world the world is a lot larger uh, you got a lot more place to roam and this guy is back and he's some of the ice phoenix and it's going to just fly around the town okay this is going to show us the town yeah see the world is a lot bigger as you can tell you really didn't have that much running room in the first one except until you got to the end game content then the maps got a little bigger but this this is huge um and I already know the maps they are going to be semi open world so you will be able to like gather with friends in certain areas from what I am told and have seen so far now, I don't know how many you're going to be able to have in one area, but hopefully this will be something new. Uh, abilities are moved inside of your inventory now, so that's different. And let's go ahead and continue on with our quest. We are level two. Moving up quick. All right, so the maps are in the center as usual restart that okay and there's only three stages to this all right and okay that's the boss for the end it's really neat that it actually shows you the boss before you get into it and more cutscenes all right they'll be a lot better when they're in English I promise you uh, I actually do like the in-depth storylines that these things have and looks like she just uh, made some people mad and obviously of course I'm fixing to have to kill them yep thank you lady and let's kick the door in and go to work now we have two skills uh, the first one which was the uh, thrusting tight move we'll get some names and holy crap there was a swarm of little spiders that's not cool that is definitely different uh, did not expect to see small things like that swarm a character and I didn't get a chance to actually get a good look at that second move finish this stuff off we'll move to the next section there it is okay all right it has two parts to it it has the initial damage and then you can hit it again and then it smashes uh, very similar to the uh, treasure hunt one of the treasure hunter does it abilities from Tai Chi Panda 1 all right let's stop attacking and go and more critters bugs smushes I'm getting shot by this dude quit thank you 
That's what it does right there. That's not a bad skill. I actually like that. Um, doesn't seem like much more of a uh, AOE kind of uh, thing like it was in Tai Chi Panda 1. And he just summoned a whole bunch of stuff. And this is going to be the boss of stage 2 in the tutorial. And that move works really well to take out trash. So, cone in front. Yes, you can take out. That's a big foot. Let's watch out for those. And there he goes with him again. So, if he's attacking, we're just going to stand in and take him down. Do as much damage as I can. Okay, now we really probably need to get out from in front of him. Move around behind him. Oh, he's moving for me. All right, that was simple. That was the boss for stage two. And we are completed victory. And did we level up again? Maybe. Yes, we did. Team level up. Now that team part of that is very interesting. And uh, we will get into that later on in some videos. But for this now, um, do we actually want to look at this? No, let's go ahead and skip that. Can't read it. But I do like the fact that when you zoom in to talk to somebody, it actually shows you a different perspective. All right, upgrading to the third skill, and it tells you where you need to go, and it will do that multiple times, believe me. All right, let's get to the third map. This is going to be a big boss, it looks like. But he has nice loot. We like nice loot. Let's get it. Alright, start now. The world's... I don't know. Is, is it just the graphics? The, I, know, I know the graphics are similar. But it just seems like everything's a lot more vibrant. And that is the third skill right there. Uh, nice ball and roll up. And uh, then big smash at the end. Uh, kind of reminded me of uh, the Sun Wukong move where he smashes the ground. And let's take out some of the trash here. And one more. I like how she just goes up there and chills and watches, you know. Hey, you're doing pretty good. Bridges that build themselves. That's pretty awesome. And you can change directions in the middle of those attacks. Um, some you could in Tai Chi Panda, some you couldn't in the very first one. Uh, but on this one, uh, you definitely can change the direction of your attack. Now, this is definitely different right here. I'm not sure what the crap this is, but uh, it's spitting fire out. And, okay. Let's, oh, let's say a two-headed hellhound. And it just died. And something, um, am I going in Super Saiyan mode? Is it over 9,000? Come on. I don't know, because I can't read it. But that's cool. Okay, she healed me. It's all better. It wasn't over 9,000. All right. And now let's get through this cutscene. I did let all the cutscenes play out just to see what they entail. You know, they were in Chinese, so it really did me no good, but they're beautiful to look at hey it's a pretty game and and this one yes you can get rid of that as well awesome yeah it makes the screen look prettier now all right continuing on okay that was not the end of this map so you had to go through another door to get to another area of the stage so that is very new very something different from what we're actually used to and okay we got help what is this that looks like boric almost and um the treasure hunter maybe i'm not no okay we have two abilities okay wow that uh takes care of a lot of things around me so did I just get two pets for this fight? We shall see. What do we have here? Whoa. And uh, that was right. That is the big boss that I was talking about earlier. 
and let's take a look and see what he has all right this is what i love the most check out the view you have in boss fight modes it's very different this is mmorpg style fighting this is amazing um from what i've been told did a little bit of talking boss fights are gonna be a little bit different for tai chi panda 2 as you can tell uh not only the looks there's gonna be a lot more strategy involved in beating these bosses uh, instead of just tank and spank i mean that's what the majority of everything was for uh tai chi panda a uh, very little strategy was had had to been used on bosses except for you know the major bosses relic lord and uh, mega bosses um but this clearly is going to be a lot different when it gets to boss fights now looks like we're gonna have pets and everything as well uh, looks like the whole team just showed up yep everybody wanted to kick some ass and they did maybe not okay he just vanished and we have a creepy guy in a black cloak standing over here watching us can we help you no and all right and that still looks like Bork I want to say that's who that is I hope it is because Bork was very very good in the very first one and that should wrap this one up still that view for that fight is amazing absolutely stunning and level up again four and we can collect some few things okay after three starring of course you get items which is going to be gold not sure what the circle is but i know the ones on the very front were the refinement stones which you can see at the very top right uh it's got your gold your diamonds and your gem refinement stones under that i believe um it's interesting that they would uh have refinement stones up there like that but i know it's refinement stones because that is what we're going to use here in just a minute to uh, level some of this gear up just normally like you would in uh, the first Tai Chi Panda. Next, next, next. I don't know why I scrolled through all of this stuff, guys. It's unreadable to me. Uh, some of you guys that do watch these, you probably can read Simplify Chinese, but as for now, I do not. And these worlds, yes, are quite a lot larger. And as you can see, there's somebody with some wings. We will get into that a little bit later. As you can tell, if you did not notice the uh, last video I did, the thumbnail for it was actually a screenshot from here. And looks like these are going to be our chests, the daily chests. You can open this one five times a day. And we got something. Not sure what it is. And of course, the gold chest you'll be able to open uh, shortly. I think it was 43 minutes left on it. And we're going to sort our items and we are going to equip the very first one. And of course, okay, that's a weapon. All right, and let's fortify it. Level this thing up. Bing, bang, bam. Might went up, damage went up. And we have a tea kettle that is the one that's to poke on. And okay, this is refinements. I'm almost positive this is refinements because that one took 20 and this one is going to take 80. And that is the same trend that Tai Chi Panda did in the first one. So I can only assume for right now that that is the refinements. But guys, that's going to be it for this video. We're going to cut it off right here. Thanks for watching. We're going to continue this series. I'm uh, going to come back and play it again. And we're just going to explore what we're going to have to come in Tai Chi Panda 2. Thank you guys for watching. As always, like, comment, and subscribe. I am Soulbash. You guys have a nice day.